Hey guys, Matthew here. In this video we're going to talk about box mapping and cylinder mapping and when to use them. So, they're not really useful in our weird little kind of worm looking things here. Um, because they are not the right kind of mapping we're looking for. So if we did apply it, you notice that it would give it a series of scenes. So I'll give it the bounding box, world, and I'll say cap GS. And you'll notice that it applies a seam over it. So in this instance, it would be nice to be able to unwrap this text, uh, this object, but it's just quicker and easier to apply spherical mapping, which is probably not the greatest way to do it, but it's fairly easy and will render quite quick results. So when do you use a box or cylinder mapping? Surprisingly, you use it when you're rendering either a, something that is effectively a rectangular prism or you, you got it, a cylinder. Now, the reason for this is because when we're actually using this UV editor, it's showing us the net of the objects. So you'll notice that this has got one, two, three, four faces, and then a triangular one at the top, and probably two. So these are the bottoms, and then these are the, the edges of that, that object. So it's unrolling the net on the the texture. So it's really only useful when we have a box. If we did apply the box mapping to our thing, so let's reapply that to here and say bounding box, world, yes, and then we use the UV editor tool to draw it. You'll notice that we get this kind of absolute and utter cluster of things that we have no idea how to traverse. And the same thing becomes true of the cylindrical mapping if we applied that, that the net is far too complicated. But as the net becomes more and more kind of analogous to a kind of, you know, a box or a cylinder, it becomes more and more appropriate to use that. So I hope this begins to communicate um, the basics of how to texture a model in Rhino for importing into Unreal Tournament Engine. Um, so that's it for this module, and if you want to learn the Maya stuff, I'll see you in the next one.